Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Greg. Welcome to the channel, greg.thunderwizard.com if you're interested in getting a Thunder Astrology reading or a Nine World Rune reading. And today I'm going to be talking about the water signs in Vedic Astrology. And those signs are, we got Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, and they're all water signs. So, and these are the, the original houses that they are in. So we'll start with the well, before I start, let me talk about, so water signs are all about uh, relationships with people. They're all about emotions. You know, they're all about the, um, the feeling they get from interacting with people. They have that uh, caring nature. They have that ability to listen to people, be compassionate. Also, um, when they get a little too on the negative side too, they can be, uh, it's about attachment, you know, not being able to let go of somebody, you know, and uh, especially like romantic relationships that can be a, uh, an unhealthy experience. But I think um, one of those lessons of water signs, especially at a young age, you know, is to uh, learn how to um, protect yourself from the, the wrong type of people, you know. Learning to uh, not, not let people take advantage of your, your caring nature with these water signs. So the, uh, the first one is Cancer, and Cancer is originally in the fourth house represents the fourth house the fourth house is the home it represents your your inner peace your um it represents any any kind of comforting kind of energy in your life it represents your heart too and it also represents everybody's mother the fourth house represents the mother as well as wherever your moon is it represents your mother it represents your own mind too as well but um so cancer people are very uh emotional um i'm a cancer so i could pretty much uh talk about this sign a lot um, yeah, uh, cancers are very, um, they're very sensitive to the moods of other people. You know, they could walk into a room and they could sense the vibe right away. Their first reaction to, uh, people around them is, it stems from the emotions. It stems from the feeling in the gut, you know, what they feel instead of, uh, you know, thinking with the intellect, it's all about emotion. Their reaction to everything around them is, is what's going on with the, the vibrations, you know, and they're, but they're very, um, they're very caring people towards other towards others. Uh, they're very they're much like the caretakers, caregivers. So these people can be really good working as a, like nurses, doctors, anywhere in those those service kind of fields. Uh, working in hotels too. They're very much uh, interested in romance, love. You know that that intimate connection with people, uh, opening up on those intimate levels, especially kicking back at home. You know. They really, um, they really like those kind of kind of energies, and um, a lot of, a lot of what my experience is that, is that um, when people get comfortable around me, even right away when I barely know somebody, they start opening up. You know, they start really letting out their feelings to me. You know, because they know that I'm just like a, a chill kind of a, a listener. I'll listen to people. I'll let them have their feelings, whatever they are. You know, as long as they don't take advantage of my feelings, because I already went through that enough times to know I'm not having it no more. You know, I'm not going to put up with that. But, um, yeah, that's one of the good strong points of cancer people is um, they bring that, um, that motherly nature, that uh, nurturing kind of energy to people. And they're very welcoming to people in the home. You know, they like uh, feeding people and that type of stuff. On the negative side, they can get really attached to especially in relationships, the beginning, when they first experience relationships, they can get really attached and have a hard time letting go of somebody, or they can get lost in their mind. When they're away from a relationship, the, the person that they're in a relationship with, I'm, I'm thinking back of my old days, first experiences with love, you know, getting attached, being at home though, thinking about her so much, oh, too much uh, going into fantasy about what can be and you know thinking ahead too much and then hoping that that's going to happen and then when it doesn't happen you get all disappointed and you get all lost in your thoughts you know so that's what that energy is that the crab the symbol of the crab represents those um those uh whatever you call those damn things <laughs> they attach on to people and they don't want to let go you know so that's what that represents but on their higher aspect they can really represent that the moon shining that nurturing beautiful carrying loving energy onto the earth, you know, shining it on everybody and making people feel like, uh, you know, 
here's somebody I can talk to. So that's good. Good thing about cancer people. So then we go over to Scorpio. Scorpio's original house is in the eighth. And the eighth house is a very uh, deep, mysterious house. It really represents the unconscious. It's a house of up and ups and downs in life. And um, Scorpio is ruled by the planet Mars. This is, um, also I didn't say it, the, all these uh, water signs are inner expressions of the planets. They're even signs, even numbers, 4, 8, and 12. So they're always these inner, inner expressions of the planets. Scorpio is the inner expression of Mars. And Mars is all about this warrior energy. You know, war Mars is all about conquering things, wanting to um, conquer the land. In this case, they're getting, it's a water sign. So this, this goes to the mind, the emotions. So it represents wanting to go really deep within the emotions, really wanting to understand themselves on a psychological level and understanding other people. So they're very much uh, romantic too. Um, the Cancers and the Scorpios are very much romantic. Uh, Mars is all about this kind of energy of going inward into things. You know, that's why Scorpios can make good surgeons. Um, also, they're really good at uh, psychiatry, that type of stuff. They can be really good with uh, being astrologers or psychics, you know, mystics, being very interested in the occult or uh, conspiracy theories, that kind of stuff, UFO investigations, all that kind of stuff, uh, government corruption. These people really want to get to know people on a deep level. Um, they can be secretive too as well. They might be holding back things about themselves. Um, or people could confide in them as well, depending on where their uh, their Mars goes and if it goes into uh, different houses. Um, so they're very um, w when they get too negative, they can get really um, they could be quick to anger because of this uh, Mars. You know, Mars is all about um, uh, the soldier. It's all about the conflict. It's all about arguing. You know, so they can get really uh, uh, quick to uh, anger really fast. And this is that house of ups and downs, ups and downs with the moods. So they can be really quick to anger. When it gets too negative, you know, they can get really physically uh, violent. So, you know, they, they got to be careful about that kind of stuff, you know. But um, they can be really deep with people because they really, uh, they have that natural energy about, um, they want to understand the mysteries of the universe, of themselves. They want to know other people on a deep level. So this really represents a huge ocean, and they're really way deep into the sea uh, of wanting to know people. And, um, you know, the scorpion, the symbol of the scorpion, it has that stinger on the tail. So it's kind of all about, um, like, these people, when they, um, they get payback, you know, they can, you never know when the sting is coming because it's in the tail. It just, pew, next before you know it, they got you. You know, they paid you back like a, like a, like a mafia guy. Mafia guy talking to another an, another enemy mafia person. They they they're in a, a room and then they walk into another room and the guy lets the other guy walk in first. And as he's walking in, he breaks out his gun and bang shoots him in the head. You know they never know they never knew it was coming. So that can, that's like a scorpion, the Scorpio types. They can be very um, sneaky like that, but they're very strong psychically, um, very in tune. When, they're, when they get into their higher aspects, they can be really uh, strong with their emotions. They can be really deep. Get, they can know people on an intuitive level right away. You know, they can understand who people are uh, really fast. So then we go over to Pisces. Pisces is originally in the 12th house. And uh, Pisces is, is ruled by the planet Jupiter, the inward expression of Jupiter. And Jupiter is a very uh, spiritual planet. It's all about wisdom. It's all about knowledge, intelligence. And it's a very expansive kind of a planet. And these people are very um, inclusive of people. You know, they're very accepting of all people, all races, no matter who they are. Um, that's one of their lessons in life if they're not that way. You know, they need to be more accepting of people. Their, their original home is the 12th house. The 12th house is all about the imagination. It's all about the, the spiritual dimensions. It's, um, it's also a, a house of isolation as well. So these people will always need that time or they should always get that time for themselves. They gotta get away from the world. You know, they need to really um, 
feel uh, that equilibrium within themselves, they need uh, time away from people. And when they do that, then they can go into those, uh, they have that access to those other dimensions, to that higher consciousness. They're always, they always have that access to, the, to, that, um, to those states uh, really easily. With practice, they could get into those uh, hypnotic states right away, super easy. Um, they need that time away from people. So they're pretty much, they're very much in their own world, in their own imagination. When they get too off balance too, they can be too, too much into their own world and they don't get those, um, that knowledge of the street smarts of the world. Uh, but when they're really in tune, they can get really deep with uh, spirituality. Like uh, Scorpio and Cancer, they're more like romantic with the water energy. The Pisces is more goes into the spiritual realm because they're ruled by Jupiter. These two are more. Uh, the Cancer is the Moon. Mars is uh, Scorpio is Mars. So they're more they're more into that romantic kind of watery energy, primarily. And then the uh, Pisces though is more primarily spiritual energy, but they can be romantic too as well. Sometimes they can appear a little more reserved in their um, romantic relationships as well, because they're in, they're into their own world. They're into their own uh, perception and they're uh, yeah they're highly imaginative so, so they can be really good writers good uh, fantasy writers they can be as well good um, anything involved with spirituality yoga uh, astrology psychics tarot readers any any kind of stuff like that they can be really good at um, and I think that's all I talked about all these other signs before um, I think the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, the fixed signs, the uh, movable signs, and the mutable signs. So each of these signs are either uh, fixed, movable, or mutable. And uh, yeah, I'll talk about the, start talking about those in the uh, the next videos that I do. Yeah. So if uh, anybody's interested in getting a Thunder Astrology reading or a Nine World Rune reading. Just go to greg.thunderwizard.com, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.